Hey guys, what's up? Just back here with um, another knife review. What you're seeing here is a Kershaw Speed Bump. Um, obviously, right away, you notice that it has custom G10 handles. I bought this knife off my buddy Adrian. He knows who he is. And um, I've learned to like it. I actually have learned to love it. I like it. Way different blade um, curvature or design than anything else I have. And I'll show you that real quick. Look at this thing. It is definitely different. I like it. It's wearing his Spyderco edge that he put on it. Spyderco Sharp Maker edge, sorry. Um, I just dropped it when I got it home. And it's great. It's really sharp. <clears throat> I'll show you cut test in a second. So these custom G10 handles, he had someone made for him. Make them for him uh, in the States. He sent it down. We're Canadian. He sent it down. Made the custom G10. Send it back. It's pretty cool. It's uh, kind of fitting for Halloween too. It's this pair of eyes just staring at you. Front and back. Oh. He'll be gladly to know that I got a pocket clip for it. Uh, he sold it to me without one. Not sure where he placed it or whatever. Which was fine. Called Kershaw. These guys are amazing. Customer service is out of this world. So I called Kershaw, speak to a rep there named John. I'm like, hi John, I just brought a used Kershaw speed bump. Blah, blah. He's like, yeah, how you like it? Like, he was really nice. I said, oh, it's good. I go, but it came without a pocket clip. He goes, no problem. Give me your address, I'll send you one out. I didn't even have to ask him. Like, it was just boom, immediate. Well, what I find is that he sent a whole set of replacement parts for the whole knife. So pivot screw, um... Your actual body screws, the torsion bar inside, the pocket clip with proper size screws. I couldn't believe it. Not only that, I opened the package and it's three times the stuff. Meaning three pocket clips, three torsion bars, three sets of full screws, three this, three that. Look at this. This is the parts he gave me. Like, really? That's amazing. There's two pocket clips in there. You see the torsion bars, the screws. Like, I mean, fantastic. Doesn't get much better than that. Um, little specs on the knife. It's the Sandvik stainless uh, blade steel. Um, it's pretty good. It does rust if you're not careful, but I ballast all my knives, and I don't have a problem with them. This does have the assisted opening, which Kershaw calls speed safe. It's pretty quick. It's not super quick, but it's quick enough. Um, it definitely does the job. I like it. It also um, has, um, it's 5 ounces by the way, and it's 3 and 5 eighths blade length. This has a weird lock that most of you who are not into nice maybe haven't seen it. Guys who are, they know about it already. This has a stud lock. No liner lock, no um, spine lock, none of that no frame lock this has a stud lock so to close the blade you need to just push the lock in this way the stud releases the blade then you can fold it it's pretty cool it's cool because when you get good you can actually just do it with one hand and oh dumbass one hand and close it sorry guys of course under camera right I do this all the time and there you go but anyways, that's it. I like it. A lot of people say it's too heavy for an EDC. I'm a big dude. I like heavier knives. Some other knives I carry EDC are like the Crawford Casper, um, CRKT, the Cold Steel Spartan. Yeah, I do carry that EDC. I'm crazy, but whatever. I carry heavy knives. I also carry very light knives. So, to me, it doesn't matter. Um, anyways, that's my review. I'll show you a little cut test. Like I said, Adrian put a really good edge on this thing. I just had to drop it. It's very sharp. As I screw up there. What else is new? As I screw up again. Anyways, it's sharp. So anyways, that's my review of the Kershaw Speed Bump. Once again, thanks for everyone for subscribing and showing me the love. <laughs> thanks for your support, guys. Take care.